George, you sleep? Oh, no, Herr Cover. Keep I... open the eyes. Oh. You can slide out of this wagon easily oh. yet. Yes, sir. It's bumpy, this old near shore road. George, do you know what Hermann Jäger says to me? No, sir. He says you must go to school. School, sir? But I didn't... But is no school for color. Is that what you think, eh, George? Yes, sir. George, Hermann Jäger says you must read. You must have books. How? I believe him. I do believe him. George, for colored is a school. Where, Herr Kahn? In Mirosho. But I know that... But I... colored children go there. Only colored. The state builds it. This I do not know before today. But I live with you, Herr Kahn, not in Mirosho. It's for you to say, George. In Neo Show is school for Kalat. If you want, you leave Air Cover's farm and go to Neo Show to learn. Stories of Great Christians. From the Department of Broadcasting of the Moody Bible Institute, we're bringing you Chapter 3 of God's Ebony Scientist, the story of George Washington Carver. Is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. That was my only braveness. I know it meant rabbits and roses and colored boys only ten years old. It's not good. The boy is only ten. All along on that road he will be. Susan, stop fretting. He decides. So let him go. I'll be all right, ma'am. Sure I will. Look, I got my lunch all wrapped up in this shawl. Well, keep the shawl around you tight, George, all the way. It's cold and windy beyond the creek. Leave the boy be, Susan. I even got my new shoes. Look, I tied them around my neck so they don't get dirty. <laughs> that one will make out. Are you up at only ten? So young. Oh, George, take care. Take care. Oh, reckon I'd better be off now, ma'am. Sir. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, don't cough. I am. I forgot. Here, here, take this. Money? Uh, Susan? A hush up. More's cover. This time I pay Georgian money. Go on, boy. Take it. Uh, oh, that? Too soon it is gone. Uh, uh, Susan, uh, how much? A dollar. A whole dollar? A whole dollar? He is gone soon enough. Uh, For school, he needs money. Well... Mr. Carver, eh, Carver, I'll be off now. G goodbye, George. Uh, sometime you come back, boy. And remember, George, to some big house go, say you tin fires and cook and wash too, is hard to get help in town. You get yourself a good place to live. <laughs> goodbye. Remember, you are free. If they do not pay, you leave. And if they give you money, count it well. <laughs> goodbye. George! George! Yes, ma'am. Wrap that shawl around you tight. It's cold on the road. Hey, boy! Watch out for the wagon. Excuse me, sir. Where you belong, anyhow, sonny. Ain't seen you in near show before. Oh, me, I... I belong, uh... Oh, I, I, I belong... Uh... Yeah. Wherever it is, better hustle on. Yes, sir.
Well? Ma'am, I can cook and wash. I can tend fires. What are you talking about, boy? I come to New York show to school, and I need work to do live. <laughs> you? School? I'm I... good at housework, ma'am. I can well, do Well, so a... am I. Please, ma'am, I can dust your house fast as grease lightning and clean as a mountain wind. Sure I can. And I can pump up water faster than rain can fall. Ma'am, if I don't find some work to do soon, I can't stay in this here town and go to school. Scat! I can do anything at all in a house, even cook. You, you don't need to keep me, just let me work and pay me and I'll find a place to stay. I, oh, you will, ma'am? Oh, thank you, ma'am. Right away, ma'am. <laughs> In came my first day at school. As I entered the door, the Negro schoolmaster, Stephen Frost, was saying, Will you shut your big black mouths? Yeah? Make more noise than a bunch of cotton-picking darkies. Attention now. Pick up your reading books, fast. I declare, what's the sense of trying to pound anything into your woolly heads? Stop that tittering! Stop it! You all gone crazy? Well, so that's the trouble. Well, who are you? Speak up, you pickaninny. What's your name? My name is George Washington Carver. Fast! <laughs> Quiet! Well, George Washington Carver, what do you want? Learning, sir. All the learning you got here. <laughs> learning, huh? Glad you told me. I thought you come to scrub floors. Huh? Homemade britches and a lady's shawl wrapped around you. Scarecrows belong in a field, not a school. Ain't I dressed right? I got shoes. Such progress our southern slaves have made since the war. Abraham Lincoln should be alive. Huh? You'll never understand. Not if you've sat in this room ten years. Boy, you better go back to the fields. But I came ten miles. I, I got me a job so I could stay. I, I... Ah, the ambition in the hearts of my brothers. You saying I can't stay, sir? I'm saying you're a fool to want to. What do you care, sir? The state's dumped enough trouble on my shoulders. I don't want another black dunce. But I got money. Money? Here, my shawl. <laughs> well, so you have. Well, well. Well, don't stand there, boy. Sit down. I could stay. I figure you, your skull's no thicker than the rest. Stay and get learning, sir. Reading and writing and... George Washington Carver, or Abraham Lincoln Smith, or whatever your ridiculous name is, I doubt if you'll ever learn to add two and two. But sit down anyway, and add yourself to my impossible burden. Much obliged, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Dismissed! Now go on home to the same filthy cabins you left this morning. Tell your mammy you can spell cat. Go on, shoo! Well? Yes, sir? Didn't you hear what I said? Carver's George? Oh, don't look at me like that. I can guess your humble origin. George Washington Carver. Carver's George. You're nothing but a slave with big ideas. Is wanting to learn big? Too big. Don't sit there rolling your eyes at me. Go on, go home. Yes, sir. Don't look at me like you don't know what the word means. Home, sir? Wherever your little old cabin is, just take yourself out of my sight. 
I look at black skin all day, and when school's over, I like to forget it fast. Till I catch a look at myself in a mirror. Yes, sir. You know, sir. What? I'm sorry you don't like being colored, seeing as how you... Get out. Go home. <laughs> Go home. Oh, I wish I could. I got me a job and I got let into school, but I got no place to sleep. What good's a job to do or school if I ain't got a place to lay my head? I can't sit up all night like the owls, even for learning's sake. Meals and work ain't enough. I'm worse off than horses or cows. up, you dumb cows. Shh. You ought to be ashamed being so choosy about sharing your barn. Hush your mouth, you horse. You get the farm out here and I'm sunk. Listen, I'm not going to hurt anything. I'm just going to crawl up here in this uh, hayloft and, and go to sleep. I'm so tired. See, I'm not hurting anything. Ah, oh, this hay's so soft. Most as soft as my bed. Back home. Oh, oh. Hey, what's wrong with you critters tonight? If he spies on me, I'm out for sure. A tired out farmer needs some sleep. All this noise and shame on you. School gone and everything. Want some more hay, huh? Oh, no. Well, I fed you once. That's all you get for tonight. Now you quiet down. Oh, good. <laughs> Carver's George with the brand new shoes can now write his name. And he's only been here a month. Show the class, George. Yes, sir. Very good. Very good indeed. I might add, George, it's a good thing you can write. With that voice of yours, you won't get far if you depend on talking out. One thing Abraham Lincoln forgot. How to teach you blacks about baths. I declare, sometimes this schoolroom smells like a hayloft. And George Washington Carver, you're the worst offender. All winter I put up with it. Yeah. Maybe horses and cows don't smell so good, but this barn's been a home to me. Thank you, old horses. And you fat old cows, you shared your barn with me. <laughs> Couldn't have stayed in school but for you. Never learned to write my name. Keep on treating me like a guest and don't give me away. I'll get educated yet. I, well, I boy, what are you doing oh. here? I, well, speak up. What are you doing here in my barn? <laughs> And so we conclude Chapter 3 of God's Ebony Scientist, the story of George Washington Carver. Stories of Great Christians is produced by the Department of Broadcasting of the Moody Bible Institute in Chicago. Mm -hmm.